Hey love bugs, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not, please... Drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I hope the fact that um, you're able to, you know, resonate with the content of my video. And the video I'm doing today is Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, they don't call to qualify. They call. They qual. They qualify to call. And that is so true. I was on uh, listening to one of my girls' videos, uh, Kendra, uh, Kendra J. And she had said that in one of her videos. And she's like, oh, there's a, a, a Bible verse to say, you know, that. And I was just like, when I said that hit deep, I was like, dang. Because a lot of times we're um, on a purpose that uh, we really just don't know where it's going. You know, nobody does. You know, it could be like, had to seem familiar, seem like deja vu. But why does it feel so foreign to me but it seems so familiar at the same time and when it when it tells us you know they don't call to qualify they don't you know how they say you know many are called but a few are only chosen and that's where that falls in line in the same thing you know not everybody is going to be called if they're not you know if they're not chosen for that certain thing like everybody's chosen for their own you know path of what is supposed to be taken maybe you know your path is enlighten everybody you know uh through the darkness of the stone uh storm or maybe you, you, it's just the purpose for you to be able uh to just uplift people when they're being discouraged you know it's just so many different things that's taking place where you know a lot of times we feel our fear on the on doubts we're, we're not allowing ourselves to you know take that place of being able to oh, okay you know i don't know what's t going on i don't you know i don't know what's going on around around the corner or i don't know what is unfolding you know um i don't know if i have what it takes you know uh, you know what if i can't get this you know because it's always what if i can't what if i you know and it, it is we don't realize we're building up like a negative report you know something like that where you're building up something where you're automatically going to allow yourself to fail because you created that reality of just basically saying that you can't overcome this you don't you don't know nothing about this so that means that you can't profit off of that you know and they're always telling you if they didn't feel like you can you're qualified for this purpose you would have never been chosen you know and it's uh, everybody is paying their, their part in a cameo in our lives of, of change of purpose you know there's always got to be a superhero there's always going to be a, a villain there's always going to be a plot twist you know and what things are going and then it's just like the plot twist is going to have a fierce dag on subliminal message that's going to come right in line to that and when I said that it remind me of the, book, the movie called the book of Eli when I sat up here and went through that whole movie and I said no the heck this was no no I uh, no but that was tight you know that was really tight because it was just the way everything kept going and I was like wow I wasn't expecting that I really wasn't expecting that and it was like shoot my boy is that watching and his butt should have been able to get so many daggone Oscars just for the things he do the only one he actually got was when he was playing that crooked cop on training day I was like how ironic but anyway I don't want to fall off the daggone track on a different subject but you know there's different things that's going on in your life where we go through so many different things and we're at that vibration where we just want to just wipe our hands of everything that's going on of uh not wanting to to keep going getting tired of uh going through different things why does my life have to be so hard you know no matter how much i try to push through there's always things that's following me back and these are the things just showing you you qualify for this you know success is not overnight not to everybody there are some people that are blessed and it happens and kudos to them and they're just hoping and praying that they still you know living throughout that to create bigger and better blessings for themselves but there's also a lot of people that really had to go on the grind for that really hustle you know there'll be days they had to sacrifice there had to be different things they had to let go of there had to be things that they had to you know add way to focus of there are certain things that didn't deserve their focus all these different things are showing you how you have the potential to qualify for anything that universe is guiding you towards you 
you know um, and a lot of times it takes us to have to fail a lot of times for us to be able to create success a lot of times we had to be able to uh, uh, you know um, embrace losses for us to you know be appreciative of that final win and just adding towards that and you know and a lot of times that's why they say you know um, a lot of times when it's hard it, you you know you've been placed on a, a creative path for you to be your own boss and so whatever the universe has because it's just like they they always want us to be you know you, you be that entrepreneur you be your, your own philanthropist uh, whatever you know you're doing some philanthropy <laughs> you know one of those different things you know that word I'm trying to say but uh, you know different things that they're adding you towards but for you to be able to go through that to get to that there's a lot of times you're going to face a lot of dark moments into your life. And these are the things that, you know, like I've, I've said many times before, these things are dissolving everything that could have, should have, would have. You know, that it was not built on your life, whether it was unprogramming, unlearning, you know, uh, killing the, 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 you know, um, the reoccurrence or the repetitive vibration of fear in some kind of way, uh, teaching where, you, you know, things were limited into your life. And all these things are, you know, dissolving you know that was concrete to our soul you know and all these things was laying up under there and for us to be able to go through that we had to see what we were qualified through you know things that went against us you know we, we move forward in, in in trying our best to be able to embrace the the diversity that we go through in life to be able to understand don't take it personal what, what the world t tends to want to always show you you know there's good and there's bad out there there's people there will be positive towards you but there'll be you know things that's negative towards you it's just like with me yesterday I dealt with you know I was just going through so many different things and it was just like I snapped out of it but then it was just like when I got that time to really just sit and reflect and I was seeing how so many different things of negative that was going through but when I was talking to different people about certain things that I was going through that I know um, and then they just start saying, you know, I'm praying for you, you know, things get hard, but that makes you harder. You know, all you got to do is pray, you know, and different things like that. And it made me feel so good. And it was just like, now you see, you could have been, you know, focused on all the negative things somebody was going through and it could have been, they were having a crappy day or they could have been, you know, certain things is just not moving right in their life. And they, you know, they tend to project that towards people. We got that all the time, you know, cause right now we have a, a, a very harsh thing that's going off in the world where you know you're allowing yourself to embrace your emotions you're allowing yourself to embrace the fears the hurts the pains that's caused in your life you had to forgive yourself forgive others you had to let things just be accepted and just let you know sleeping dogs lie you know you had to be able to do all that but then there's some people that fear you know to have to go into that vibration of facing what created that vibration for them in the first place and it's just like we we're all moving <laughs> but there are certain directions that you know some people are moving this way and some people are going that way and it's just it's going to create that friction in the world because like it, they always say it's like we feel like it's us against the world no it's us against ourselves you know the world is always going to be out there there's always going to be somebody that's going to wreck you know rock that boat on you there's always going to be something that's one that's poke that bear of yours you know but it's just like Showing you you're qualified to not allow what others are doing to you affect your peace, of, you know, take you out of your character, all those different things is by the things that you, you're facing, you know, because when we let go, you know, you're healing that inner, that inner demon in the, in your life, you're he, you know, you're healing that inner enemy that's in your life, you know, so there'll be different things. You know, universe is like, we can sit up here and say, I'm tired of this, you know, my life ain't really changed, this and this and this and that. But then the next thing you know, somebody comes up trying to trigger you. Next thing you know, somebody trying to do something to get a rise out of you. And you just stand in there. And you just looking and you observing and you ain't said nothing. <laughs> you didn't allow yourself to even say, like, okay, I'm a warrior, but not every war is my battle. I, that, that's just not mine. You know, and then you'll take stock and notice. Look how what, that, what just happened. And you noticed that you did not react you did not respond your response was silence your response was just a dead glare stare all those different things you did not place your power in the attention of whatever was going on in that situation or that person's life and that was that that confirmation with, with from God and universe you see the other things 
you see you feel so harshly is just because the fact is you're not exactly where you want to be at right now and it's not saying that won't happen but in the midst of that from you to get from the hellish situations you were in where things were just not right you know the people are in your life wasn't you know wouldn't doing you right your money was wrong all this this and this and that, everything that was wrapped up in that then all of a sudden things just start slowly slowly coming towards you and it's just like people dropping out of your life like like roaches when raid comes on you know it gets really quiet next thing you know you lose your job people start looking at you funny you, you talking weird you know you're seeing things weirdly but then you notice that all these things was prepping you for something bigger then you'll understand why you had to go through all these situations. If you didn't go through the situations with toxic people, what would you know what toxicity looked like? Then with the people that you relate to that got toxic vibes, how would you how would you be able to know the toxicity that you hold within yourself? You know, we can always blame other people for our suffering, but then you'll start noticing where you had to hold yourself accountable that you played a big major part in that as well. You know, and then when it gets to that point, you know, and you say that things haven't changed, but look how much that change has changed you. You see that people fell out your life. It was like I didn't lose anything out of my life I didn't need, you know. But also, I can look back at everybody that was in my life and everything was in my life is exactly what I needed to show me what I am not and what I am, you know. And I'm using that as a blessing. I'm, I'm appreciating every you know storm that I faced because I was always constantly sheltered through that but it gave me strength at the same time I appreciate my darkness because I embraced my darkness and I fell in love with it that made me want to be able to preach my light a lot more I appreciate the people didn't that didn't love me because it led me to place that extra love in myself so finally I can gravitate towards things that that nourishes my soul people that nourish my soul you know, not looking at the people that did everything up under the sun to me, but but believe me, beneath me, but allowing myself to appreciate y'all guided me towards my higher self. If I did not meet you, if I didn't encounter these things, I would never be able to recognize the person that was forgotten. I would never be able to recognize the person that needed my acknowledgement from the different things that, you know, came my way to show me what I was caught qualified for. Because a lot of times we hold fear, we hold doubt, we don't, we, we lack belief, we lack patience because of the things that we constantly face. You know, you know, there'll be times I'm telling you when I go through things and I go right big back to that video that I said those things. Because I tell y'all all the time, I keep it very real with you, transparent, more than transparent can ever be. You know, there's moments I have weaknesses. People are like, Rosalind, you're strong for all the things that you have faced and all this and this and that. I've had weak moments. That's where strong people do when you can allow yourself to say I had a weak moment I caught myself flip, slipping you know and I got back up you know that's just you know remind me of that song from DMX you know I'm slipping falling can't get up you know you go through all these different things and it's just like we can pray to God for desperation in our lives and everything but when things get good we forget you know to tell him thank you because of all these good things that came into our lives because if it wasn't for him we wouldn't be where we are you know you're able to stand strong on your own two feet and not fear who you got behind you you know that is supporting you when he knocked everybody out your life to show you can stand on your own you know when you allow yourself to create something very beautiful from everything that you have gone through you're going to appreciate the people that didn't support you. You're going to appreciate the people that chose to neglect you. And all these different things. And it showed you all the potential you had from those storms that you faced. It showed you the power that you had when so, so many different things to try to make you neglect that. Made you distract that. And these are the beautiful things that took place in your life where you can truly benefit off of that. You know. And just to be able to unfold in that you know is a blessing in many ways so if you're you're going through you know all these different things where you second guess what you can do you wouldn't have been called you know they, they didn't call you to qualify you for that calling you were all qualified already to move through that calling so you gotta remember many 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 are called but only few are chosen so you have to understand that when you were chosen for that, you're going to make life 
very memorable. You're going to make life very epic. <laughs> you know, so allow yourself to keep going. You know, there'll be days, you know, there'll be days that'll be hard, harder than some, but there'll be days a lot. They always say, you know, crying during the night and joy coming in the morning. You got to be able to allow yourself to move that way. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Much love to you as well. Like I said, you always know, I always tell y'all, I leave my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking, being able to help you further your purpose, understand your purpose and a deeper vibration. Um, there's a lot of things that you may be going through you don't understand or you just wondering if it's, you know, can I relate to it? And I'm trying my best to be able to help people the best way I can and whatever we speak on is confidential, you know, um, and just being able to help you out just to be able to, you know, bring that, that vibration of insight in your life. You know, it makes it a lot better. You know, even though you may be going through a lot, it'll make some kind of sense to you say you're not alone. There are so many people that have gone through the things that you have gone through. And it's just beautiful when we can connect with it that, hey, you're in your tribe. You're going to find where, you're gonna find your spot in your slot. So you got to be able to go good. So I would love to give a post notification shout out to uh, Fair Hazard. Much love to you is Jim Matt. Um, Chuck. Chuck Charles and Jessica Walton much love to you as well so um I will leave also leave my link to my podcast as well like I've been saying um you know I some change up different uh content uh subjects that they want me to do you know not just on my um, videos but I'll be doing it on my website as well I mean my website god dog my podcast as well um, so hopefully you'll be able to connect with that. But like I've told y'all, if you go to my community page, if you haven't, you know, familiarized with that, um, I put a lot of, uh, uplifting positive vibes up, you know, just being able to get you through the day, because I know there's a lot of things that we face that we don't discuss with other people. There'll be different things that's really, you know, really tugging on the heart. So I'll be able to send stuff out like that just to give you that upbeat today. Don't quit. Don't give up. You know, there's something out there for you. You know, blessings are on its way to you. You know, you keep moving. Um, and I also, you know, I put out my little funny memes. There are different things that come out, you know, just to give you that, you know, that giggle, that uplift. You know, you may be having a crappy day. You may be depressed or whatever. And I end up putting up something real stupid to make you second guess. Like, why? <laughs> why? Because I know when y'all be dropping comments, I'll, I'll be ready to shut my damn laptop down on y'all. Like, I'm not going to do this today. And I, I see that our Hey Oka vibes are really, you know, be really crazy amongst us because it's funny. So, um, I hope you are able to resonate with that. You know, whatever you're trying to bring into your life, hey, I'm pushing positive vibes of everything that is truly beneficial towards you. And um, it'll br bring you down to your knees because that door is just going to bust right open like a levy and all the blessings going to come through so harshly. You ain't going to be able to stop them. So, I'm really putting that on your, you know, really putting on that path because you truly deserve it. And do not, do not, do not give up. Anything that you, can, you can't go an hour or a day without thinking about was destined to be into your life. So stay consistent and persistent, you know, because blessings is on its way to you. See you on my next video. Much love. Peace.